Okay, guys, I am back for episode two, I guess, and this time we are going to be covering items. So, to do this, the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to create a new class, and it's going to be in the dot items package or folder, and it's going to be called mod items. And I'll type in here. We well. We are going to create a public static void. Hmm. Let's just call this in it. It's not going to take in any variables. And we're going to create a public static void register. And then up here, we are actually going to create a public, well, capitals, static list. And it's going to be a list of item. I'm just going to call it items. We're going to set it equal to a new array list of item. And import those net.minecraft.item and java.util.list. And In theory, we could just do it this way, and we wouldn't need variables that way. But actually, I changed my mind. This is going to be a map. It's going to be equal to a new hash map, and it's going to take in a string as its identifier. Okay. Job that util that hash map and job that util that map. So we're just going to say new mod item, not mod items, mind you. It's not going to take in any parameters. We're going to create this class dot items package. It's going to extend net dot minecraft dot item dot item. It's not going to take in any interfaces. We're going to create a public Constructor. Once again, it's not going to. Well, actually, it should take in string registry name and string unlocalized. Then we just need to call this dot set registry name, and it's just going to be string, and then we're going to take in registry name. This dot. Well, this dot set localized name to unlocalized name. Then game registry dot register. We're just going to pass in this. Okay. New mod item. Create arguments. We're just gonna pass in null. We don't we don't necessarily want to do that. We're gonna pass in a string because well, if we didn't, it j just wouldn't turn out right. So, we're going to just call this tutorial item, all lowercase. Well, I guess registry name doesn't have to be. It'll convert it itself, actually. Um, actually, instead of adding it right here, we're just going to call mod items dot items dot put and then we're going to actually pass in the registry name and then the value is this and remove that import then we're going to go back to mod items we are going to loop through item items Oh, yeah, okay, yep. Dot values. And yeah, I guess that'll work. Um, and then we are going to and I guess we can just do it this way. Private st 
static void register. Private static void register items. Then in here, this is just going to do game registry dot register. And it's actually going to take in an item. Item. Then it is also going to call model loader dot set custom model resource location. It's going to take an item with the metadata of zero for now. Um, if we get into metadata items, we'll cover those. Model res a new model resource location that's just going to take in item or item dot get. We're going to do registry name. You could do unlocalized name. It really depends. And then we're also going to pass in a second string, and we're just going to pass in inventory. Right? Actually, going to add a theme. Okay, that's all that's going to do. Meaning, we don't need you, and we can just call item dot dot. Yeah, I'm kind of working this out as I go. Game registry dot register and just pass an item here. And then we're actually going to create a public static void register renders, which is also going to iterate over it. Whoa, that's so cool. Sorry, just Eclipse for item, item, items. Then items dot value. I keep forgetting. Model loader dot set custom model resource. That's just gonna. That's basically going to say, hey, at well the default location with this mods what it is registering under mod ID. This is going to be the name of our JSON file. That's what this is pointing to. This is pointing to a model resource location, or it's a model resource location pointing to a JSON model. It's registering this item to this JSON model. Okay. Okay. So commonly we are going to call mod items dot init. And then right under that we're going to call mod items dot. You know, okay. Kind of bugs me that I have to that I'm doing this many, so I'm just going to make this private and this private. I'm going to switch this to initialize, and then up here we're going to create a public static void init, which is going to call initialize or initialize and register. And then we're going to get an error here. Then we just call. Wow. Oh, yep, okay. Yep, we just want to call init. And then at the end, we want to call proxy dot 
3 in it, passing the event. I also forgot to do this in the last tutorial, but not really important. Proxy dot in it, considering we hadn't used any of those yet. So proxy dot post in it, and depending on what we're doing, it's going to be in a different position. So up here, we are going to initialize the items, and then we're going to call a proxy dot whatever. So the way that this actually works is it actually these are basically at site only classes, meaning this class will only get ran on the server, and this class will only get ran on the client. So since the client is the only thing that needs to actually know about models, we are going to call mod items dot register renders in here. So oh also one thing that I forgot to do in here that I just realized if we want it to appear in a creative tab, we actually need to set which creative tab it appears in. So this dot set creative tab, creative tab, well, tabs, yep, creative tabs dot, hmm. let's just put it into the miscellaneous tab for now. Now, we need to get rid of iterator in here because it is serving no point. So now when we load up the game, I'll be right back once it's actually loaded. And we are back. Minecraft is loaded. Now let's just create a new world. We're going to call this tutorial mod. As every time we use this version of Forge, it's going to contain the worlds. So it's better to just, yeah. We're actually going to make it a super flat world, as there's no point making a default world. It's kind of just going to take up space and I guess it'll look prettier, but... Alright, and... I need to adjust my video settings. We're going to create a new source folder. We're going to call it res. We may actually end up doing this better, because... People suggest... Pe bleh, forge people suggest that you do something. We are going to create a new package. It's going to be assets dot, and then it's got to be the mod ID tutorial. I think that's what it did. And then we're going to do dot lang first. Lang stands for language. So in here, we're going to create a new file. So file name is going to be en underscore us dot lang. Finish. It's actually going to open up in this, which is not what I want because you won't be able to see it. So, open with text editor. Yes. So, item dot tutorial item dot name equals tutorial item. Save that. Now it's going to have a name in game. new package assets dot tutorial well tutorial dot models dot item this is where I get a little bit uneasy about myself because I am not good with models at all. I'm just gonna outright say that I did I love-hate relationship with the new model system. We're going to call it tutorial item all lowercase dot json and I have a json editor in here because honestly it's it's a lot easier having a json editor in Eclipse when doing modding as you'll be working with jsons when you create items. Um, Parent. I'm not sure if it was like that. It is like that. Um, we want to do item dash generate generated. I'm not sure if you can see that because of the color, but item dash generated. Um, then I think it's just model. What is it? Mm, technical difficulties.
guys. Not really. I'll be right back with where I view. Okay, we're back. It's textures colon open brace close the brace and then we want to say layer in, in quotes layer underscore zero and then we need to point it to our mod IP well actually I'm just gonna point it to Minecraft but if you've created your texture your texture you'll put your mod ID then a colon like I'm doing with Minecraft and then you'll put the texture of it so I'm going to use red stone as the texture here and apparently I'm getting an error mismatched input we're back I figured out what the error was it's because I forgot a comma at the end of this line like I said I'm terrible at Jason's if I did everything correctly that means that when we run the game like we are about to right now our item should show up be visible have a name and the clip stop lagging out I will be right back once the game is loaded alright we are back minecraft is loaded let's see if it if I did everything correctly I hope I did pretty sure I did well uh, well, it doesn't have a texture. Maybe Minecraft colon redstone doesn't point to anything. Oh, I'll be right back. We are back. I know what I messed up. Red, we can change this back to redstone. It's not underscore, though I remember it being an underscore. So, We'll be right back once Minecraft loads again. All right, guys, we're back, and pretty sure we did everything right this time. I still swear I remember that underscore being there in earlier versions, but I guess they removed it. Or I'm just, I guess, crazy. And as you see, okay, we're pointing to an unknown texture. <sighs> I'll be back again. We are back, and Minecraft is loaded. Let's load up our modded world here and hope that it has the apple texture, which I changed it to. Huh. Headset just cut out there, don't worry about that. Huh. Maybe I should remove the Minecraft colon as it autumn. Oh, that's probably it. Probably that's that's depressing. Does it does it need that? That's probably what it is. Let's just leave that out anyway. I will be back once again. Sorry, 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 sorry. Guys, we are back again and now now it should work. I hope it does. Yeah, now I have a tutorial item with the texture of an apple. I did good, right guys? Meanwhile, I'm just going to turn it into peaceful mode so we don't have to deal with these slimes bouncing around the flat world. Okay, so that's all for this episode of the modding tutorial series. Next one up is going to be basic blocks, so like, I guess maybe ores. I'll cover an ore, I'll do like a tutorial ore and a solid tutorial block in the same episode. So, see you guys next time.